In this video, we provide a solution to question number one for practice exam number three for Math 1220. We're given a function y equals five minus c e to the negative x, and we're supposed to determine which of the following six differential equations is this the solution of. Now, one way to do it is just, of course, just to start computing and see which one solves each one. You know, you plug it in and see what happens. Now, you'll notice that with each of these possible answers, there are some similarities here. There's always like a y plus or minus of five. Um, we have to compare it to the derivative. So let's actually compute the derivative first, dy over dx, see what happens. So computing the derivative here, y prime is equal to, um, well, you take the derivative of five, it's gonna go to zero here. Um, derivative e to the x by the chain rule, a negative sign is gonna come out. So you're gonna get a positive c e to the negative x like so. So the derivative, notice the five is gonna go away, the negative sign is gonna go away. And so I'm gonna look for something that actually seems to make that work because after all, this is equal to, because if you take y, for example, and you times y by negative one, take a negative one there, that'll give you a positive c e to the negative five, but then you'll have this extra negative five that's present. So if I add five to that, or write that as says five minus y, um, we then can see that when we put all together, the derivative of our function y is equal to five minus y, um, for which then b would be the correct answer. So that way we didn't have to go through every possibility. We were able to construct it by actually looking at the general, uh, the, the, the possible answers and actually see which one's the most correct one.